Today I'm going to take a look at a 48SX. Now this is my old calculator from 20 odd years ago. Um, and uh, it had been stored away for a while and then I brought it out and uh, just recently and wouldn't turn on. And that really kind of ticked me off because this was a very expensive calculator. So I did some looking around and apparently there is um, a foam strip of some sort from what I read that uh, presses the keyboard connection to the board, the main board. Um, someone's basically said if you just push down in the middle here and then push on, your calculator will turn on. But it's not much good. You know, as a, as a fix, this is lousy. <laughs> Who wants to keep their finger on the keyboard there? And... Um, it doesn't fully work anyway, so it really needs to be taken apart. HP, in their great wisdom, never created this calculator to be repaired. And uh, so people who have taken this apart have gone from the extremes of peeling off the front bezel, um, which to me seems kind of a hard thing to be doing, and then to try and get it back down again and look good. Uh, the other approaches are that they unclip it on the sides here. And, um, you know, I can show you if, when I, if I get this apart um, where those are. And uh, then they basically work through and there, there's these plastic rivets that hold this assembly together. So we'll see uh, how this works out and whether I have a calculator at the end or not. That took probably an over an hour to get apart. And a little bit of warpage. So what I'm interested is underneath here. And of course there's tons of rivets, plastic rivets. So, it doesn't look like I wrecked any of the components on the side. So, hopefully I can get this apart.
All right, so this is the cause of all these calculator failures. HP designing a flawed piece of foam rubber to uh, do a compression strip on their keyboard strip. Unbelievable. So the next step is finding a suitable replacement for this and then uh, hopefully trying to put it back together. So I don't have decent foam, but this is uh, this is actually pretty decent. It's easiest stuff to cut. It's pretty close. If I do two strips of this, that should be enough to uh, be the right thickness and pretty stiff. First one's in. Not great, but it's in. We need the second one to be longer.
All right. So now I get the uh, zebra strip cleaned up. Before I reinstall the uh, the um, LCD and motherboard. I'll give the uh, the uh, strip a cleaning too. Okay, so we're all back together again. Um, I had a huge amount of problems with the rivets up here, and I ended up using this to clamp them, pop them back in place. So other than chewed up a little bit, it seems to be back to normal. So the key thing is, is to make sure that this thing's fully functional. And um, one of the things we do is just check that the keyboard is fully operational. And to do that again, we do on, the release so we should see three bars which we do <clears throat> and then we press E and this will start the test okay so now we have to go through each of the buttons and from its left to right one two three And our keyboard's good. We get a single line through. And to get out of this, we just do on, C, on, off. And we're back in. So the self-check that we can do just to do a final um, check on things is hold on, hold E, release on, release E. And so it's going to go through and you can see whether your display is going to emit issues or not. Um, and it'll just keep cycling through on this. So everything looks good on this. We're really happy about that. So now I'll just do on, holding on, press C, release on, release C. And we're back to normal. So if this has helped you, great. Um, I would not recommend this for anyone that's a novice because it was terrible to take apart. However, um, these things are, are pretty valuable still as, um, you know, even as an old calculator. And um, they're very hard to, uh, to purchase, you know, at a reasonable price. Um, so if you get one that's been um, listed as not powering up or to be um, used for parts or repair, Likely it's just the strip that's gone on it. Um, you'll see occasionally the LCD screen that's gone. The LCD is actually not that terrible to replace either, but um, you know, let's hope you don't have to. So again, you know, if it helped you, great. Give me a thumbs up and uh, have a good day.